Oh, there you are. Guys, welcome to Casa Sauce Balls 2.0. Parang I didn't see you guys not through the glass. <laughs> Hi everyone, so as promised, we are doing a little house tour just so that I can, you know, show you guys what we've done along the way and the brands we've found that we actually really love and that we've used in this house. I hope you guys enjoy! Continuing the house tour right now, we are in the adult zone, so no kids allowed here, but of course they're allowed to come. We will reveal this whole area behind you guys next time, which is the outdoor, which is one of my favorite spots to hang in, especially during the sunset. But let's go into the adult zone. So this is my haven and Nika's haven. Ta-da! This is our little hallway to separate both Wivezilla and Hubby. Let's start with Nico's office because mine is the finale. This is his dream office. So since the pandemic and the work from home situation, Nico found his new love that he loves to actually work from home, which is why when we decided to build this house, we said we will have our own space. He will have his own office so that he can work from home and I will have my painting studio so I can take care of the kids and at the same time work on my exhibits. So here I will tour you briefly. It's a pretty nice space with a top view. Nico does everything here. We're not completely done. This wall is blank. It's supposed to have the world map, which I want to doodle on and frame it, but I haven't found the world map I like yet. Of course, a plant, so he still feels the freshness of the outdoors. Over here, we have, with no doubt, what our second daughter was named after, my least Lionel. So yeah, of course, all of you guys know Nico. You all know that he is an absolute Lionel Messi fan. How can you have an office without his god on the wall. So this was signed by all of them. Here are some old pieces you can see from the house. Of course, Nico's into polo. He loves horses. He's from Argentina. So I made sure that when I decorated his space, because yes, even though it's his space, I still did everything because when it comes to interior designing, ako na lang, wag na lang sa kanya. So this is also an old piece from the house with the polo stuff. Of course, some memorabilia of the family. We have yet to add my lease. We love you, my lease. You're just not here yet. We need to, <laughs> to fix still. So yeah, we have his books. These are things I got from IKEA. Ikea. They have great stuff for the office. So I have a lot of Ikea pieces here, which you will be able to see later for extra space. This is one of my favorite. I actually chose this for him. I went to Taylor Living and I think, if I'm not mistaken, this is from Human Scale. This is basically Barack Obama's chair and it's really meant to fix your posture when you're working. Of course, you can put it up and down depending on how tall you are. Like, this would be perfect for me. The hands, you can switch this, you can lower. I mean, everything is amazing for posture and back so you work better. So this is a must-have chair. And you can also personalize. So I chose the gray leather and white just to match this. And then, this is also from Human Scale and it's a very simple desk. You know, Nico is someone that moves a lot, so I made sure that we didn't choose a desk that had anything under so that he can like slide left and right. And when you're tired of working, of course, may not, oh, it's here pala, it's just one, it's so simple. You can put it up and work up. Ding, 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 or down. And what's good is that it's manual because you have some tables like this that are electric and the problem with electric ones is that if there's a brownout, you can't put it up and down. So make sure you take a manual one. It's super easy to put up and down. It came with this hold also from Human Scale. I don't have the terms, but if you have someone here and you want to talk to him about someone, you just turn it. You can say blah, 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 this is what I want. This is how you prank Wivezilla, choo, 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 choo. You can just move it around, put it up, down, turn it. It's really great for someone that works a lot on his computer. He doesn't game, so I'm pretty sure if you're gaming, you can try your games. <laughs> anyway, so this is also from Human Scale. I thought that this set was 
amazing. We also had opine, so like I told you before, opine did our entire cabinetry in the house because I wanted to just stick to one supplier so that it's easier if there are mistakes to rectify and just for a unified look as well. So this is all from opine, so just a simple ledge for his books and then here to put his more messy things. Oh, chips. <laughs> Okay, so Nico has all his office gear here and it's like a floating counter so it's super beautiful. He also shoots his own stuff as you can see. And I bought this rug also from Mirabelle just because Nico is messy and he does a lot of stuff here so I wanted to make sure we had outdoor rugs throughout the whole house. And of course, we hadn't had any guests come yet but in case you would have a meeting here, I made sure to buy a visitor's chair. I didn't have time to go look around much, but then when I went to Ikea to get all the office stuff, I found this chair, which was super easy to build. Because yes, I do build everything in this house as well. I'm not just a wife cooking and everything. I build, I get my hands dirty. Because Nico, if I give him stuff to build, he'll just leave it here and then in two years, it will still be in the box. So I still need to do it. But he's good with the kids, so plus for Nico. But yeah, this was beautiful because I thought that, well, one, the colors matched. Two, it's see-through, so when you come into the office, it's not such an eyesore and it doesn't make the space look smaller. Three, Tilly loves to turn around in it. It's just super comfy, so I just opted for one. Though I wanted two, but it's not like Nico has like many visitors come here. So it's uh, here just in case we have someone. And what we love, what Nico wanted in his office was, where's my remote? Remote, remote. This, when it's hot and he is lazy. He just has to press a button. Just like in our master's bedroom, he has the automatic blinds. These are called blinds, right? Just to cover enough of the sun, but still we didn't want any blackout curtains here because it's an office and you need the bright lights. Speaking about lights, we have up here just like the entire house from Ilao at Ibapa. These lights are again are magnetic, so if you wish to add more brightness to the room, you can just magnet more lights into. You can put spotlights, kind of switch it around. We are super happy with these and we have them again in the whole house. You'll see it in my studio as well. Our lights are from Merino. What else do we have here? I'm just gonna be very repetitive because if you guys want to watch every little pieces of the house I bring out, you, can, you don't have to watch the others if you're not interested in the kitchen or whatever. So anyways, in the office, we used pattern pad. I wanted a bit of color in the office, but still manly. I didn't want to paint the walls with gray, so we decided to just put first the wallpaper. And it's a little bit textured, so it's still a little bit playful, but still very subtle. If you get too playful, it could be a bit feminine. So of course, Nico wanted his thing. And then our flooring, Nero Granite, throughout the entire house as well. Now that you have visited Nico's office, I think it is time to see the studio. studio this is my little haven as you can see we have sheer just so that if Nico's not here working I open it because I like this feeling of the space but if Nico's there and I'm here we both close our sheerness because we don't want to see each other <laughs> because we want to be in our zone so this is my studio finally I have been dreaming about a painting studio for the longest time a place where I can get down and dirty and where also Tilly comes and paints with me so I'm not too iffy about if she spills stuff on the floor. Like, I'm pretty cool about that. Though, if you look at the floor, it's still very clean because I still clean it. So yeah, it's pretty simple. It's just a big studio, high ceilings, lots of natural lights because when I'm painting, I need natural lights. Again, a lot of the lights from Ilao at Ibapa. These ones are super cool because when I'm painting, okay, don't fall, so then don't fall. Don't fall. When I'm painting and I, I can move it and point it towards what I'm painting. And again, I have other extra magnet lights that I can put in and they're actual spotlights. So it's really right on the painting. And look, see, it comes out. The colors really come out. So you can move these around. I can put all of them super close together and just point it at one certain area. My floor, again, from Nero Granite. These are all things I had from the old house. I can't remember where I bought this, but people ask me online often. It's, I think it's for tools. I'm not sure. I think I bought it in like True Value or one of those. Of course, for my main area, which will have all my paints. Again, I'm still waiting for some of my paint tubes to come from Europe. We just decided to put it on a ledge, but I wanted it a bit more class. 
So we added some lights under so I get to really see what I need to grab. We didn't opt for closing cupboards or anything because again, I'm like grab and go, grab and go. I'm painting and then I look and I'm like, oh wait, I think I need this color. It's super easy. I didn't want it to be too fixed as well. And just in case I need segregating, I bought these ones from Hay. They have a bit of everything, which is great. So it's like a one-stop shop for me that doesn't really like to go here and there. And they're made from recycled plastic, I think. So anyways, these are great to just dump things in there. This light table is actually from my college days in Paris and it's still alive and working. So I do some sketches on this light table. But yeah, let's turn that off. So this is also made by Opine. So it's a floating island where I can wash in the sink. My sink is from Home Store. So I wanted more like a kitchen sink here just because I know it's gonna stain and it's gonna get dirty at some point and I just throw my paints in there. So I wanted something big and deep so that it's easy to wash all my brushes, which is what I have here. And then this one, you can remove it and I can squirt on the, how do you call it? Paint boards. And then yeah, I'm just fixing under here. Okay, it's messy. But anyways, I have all my my lampins, my lampin ba pag paint? No, parang trapo. All my trapos for my paint brushes. Then I have some paperwork, like all my more serious things are down here. But everything that's fun is what you can see with the naked eye. This table was from, I think it's Contract World, but it's also under the Taylor Living Group and it's their designer tables. So what's great about this is that you can really lift it and work right up. So I just tape my paper if I'm drawing. But if I'm working, you can put it down. It's quite simple. You can put it at any level or all the way flat. Tilly loves it here also. I put all my pens. I have still a lot more coming. I'm buying more of these but I can just set it in the back and just have like all my crayons, my pens, my glues, my stickies. What else do we have here? This I got from Ikea. I love organizing things and I feel like when it comes to home organizing, they have a lot of options. They use this for like kids toys, I think. But for me, it's like all my brushes are here. I have some of Tilly's paints, so for like shirt art, finger paints, and then I have my own here, by color as well, big pots, small pots. Here in the back, my old work, which is one of the paintings I love, so I kept it for now, but might get rid of it. This is one I'm working on right now. It's not completely done, but this will be for the next exhibit. I am collabing with Olivia Daboville, so we are going to layer my paint and my artwork with her abaca, like the one in my room. She's uh, one of my best friends, and so we're collabing for next year. This is an old shelf that was in my bathroom in the old house. It's from Philux, super matibay, super good quality, which is why I didn't want to get rid of it and I kept it. And now it's in my art studio. So for now I have things like all my Posca pens, which I still need to organize because it's hard to find colors like this. This is usually all of Tilly's stuff. So with glitters, this is also from Ikea. I think I got these boxes from Ikea too, so I have to label them. So I can have a few here and just stack them up. This is also all the arts and crafts for my kids. So when we play, when we paint, I bought all of these from Paris. So just like frames. So if there's a birthday or Christmas, we can just decorate it, put a photo and then give it as a gift. Paint the masks. Lots of fun. She's been doing it for a while, as you can see, but <laughs> we still have to work on it. Every time I go to France, I bring home a whole balik buying box of like arts and crafts for kids. It's super fun. And yeah, my papers, more pens, some chalk. This also, all of these are from Ikea. I freaking love it. When I paint, I always paint big things and I paint on the floor, then I stand up, then I'm up on a stool. So also this stool goes up and down. So if I'm sitting and I need to paint high, if I'm lazy, I can just stand. This one if I have to go higher. And then yeah, so this just kind of rolls around wherever I go, as well as this. So I was gonna buy two of these until Isa of Neat Obsession said they have another trolley that can fit everything. And we found it when we were there, which is amazing because this rolls also. So I, have, I put some paints down here or water, whatever. And then when I'm painting, at least my palette fits here. So before I would make it tabingi here, it was difficult. But anyways, I love that these are just movable and can go anywhere. And I'm also not scared to like splatter them with paint. I think that's pretty much it. Uh, a sneak peek of my next exhibit. I'm trying abstract, so here. And then of course I have, just in case I make a mess, I have an on-stand vacuum. When I don't want to put aircon, I have my fan and I open all the windows. But if not, aircon is the way to go. And of course, since this is my 
spot where I want to get inspired. I have one of Peke Galiaga's paintings here just to keep me inspired and motivated since I love him so much and I love everything he does. This is my little Peke Galiaga here. Midas has one in her room as well. So now we're gonna head outside, but you're not gonna tour yet because I'm still fixing some things. Okay, so that's it for now, guys. Again, I'll be showing you little by little some things. I shall see you soon.